Hello, this is 101R Smith, and today we will be looking at the No Grade 1 100th Gundam Gushion Gushion Rebake. Gushion Rebake is the second Gundam frame to appear in the first season of Iron Blooded Orphans. Originally, as this turtle-looking mobile suit that attacks the Barbatos and Tekaden, which is defeated by Mikazuki in the Barbatos, taking by Tekaden to be sold as parts. One of the main protagonists, Akihiro, decides to take the Gushan in memory of his brother and turn it into the Gushan Rebake, which he pilots for the rest of Iron-Blooded Orphans of Season 1 and will be converted into the Gushan Rebake Full City. Gushan in its original form was a shell covered Gundam used with a giant freaking hammer and then when it became the Rebake it became a mid-range attacker and also had long range capabilities and is one of the 72 Gundam frames named after demons. Guys, before I even unbox this, I'm not going to lie. This thing has two knocks against it already. The price and the way it's handled. You see, this kit in particular can go upwards to $60, which is very absurd for a no grade. This was a very hard decision, but thankfully I got this on a Christmas sale and got this for about $40. But still, it's very hard to actually decide to spend $60 on a no-grade kit unless it's the a straight gold frame. And even then, you really have to think about it. So the price is very lackluster. And then, the way this kit was handled, they give you a Gundam frame, but you only get one Gundam frame, but enough parts to make two Gundams. So, you know, you have to decide, Gushan and Gushan Rebake. That's not fair. You're left with pretty much a whole Gundam that you can't use. This was a pretty bad decision by Bandai for doing that. You could have just made two releases of the Gushan, Gushan Rebake. You know, they did that for Komoris, Komoris, and then Komoris Trooper. You, you could have done better. But, you know, it's got two knocks on it on me. So, if you're expecting this to get it at 10 out of 10, then... Your SOL, sorry. But, you know, let's open up the box. Let's see what this Gundam can do. Now that we open up the box and I am bagged all the rebake parts that we will use, we will get to see how this is made for the most part this is the frame and it uses a unique frame only for this Gundam IBO Gundam frame 2 eh, Bandai bad decision which makes it hard you can't just swap in a spare Barbatos frame and pop in Gushion parts to save money you're gonna have to mod it unfortunately then you get the unique parts that come with it, its own head, hands, all these orange parts for the frame, the camera eyes. Then you get the armor. And then more frame for the armor itself. Uh, you get the IBO polycap pieces. And then we get a Sticker sheet. I mean, here's the traditional Gundam frame stickers, but then so majority of these for the rebake, where I only see about maybe three for the Gushan. So take that as you will. And then we open up the manual. Character information. Gundam information parts. So the manual, like most IBO kits, they tell you how to build the frame first. And then they have you build the Gushonri Big first. 
and then you build, they tell you how to take that apart, and then they tell you how to build normal Gushon out of it, so you take all the armor parts off, and then you take apart the frame itself, and then you add more frame parts from the Gushon, and then you put the Gushon's armor on it, and then you get the Gushon. Not gonna lie, I'm not feeling too optimistic here, but I'm building the rebake. We're giving it a fair shot. Let's see what it can do. Now, usually in a review when I introduce the completed product, I would let him stand on his own. But with the Gushon rebake, we have weight issues. The backpack is so big that he can't just stand on his own. So we got to fix that here. And now we have the completed 1100 Gundam Gushion Rebake. The head can move up and down slightly. Can't really go back. The th you know, the fins can move. It's got the IBO kind of chest thing going on. Double jointed elbows. You can move the subarm units in the back. And then the jiggle jointed knee. The Gundam Gushion comes with its two primary weapons, the long range cannon and its heavy axe. And with the heavy axe, we deal with an issue that a lot of IBO kits have, and that is they can't hold their own weapons. It's just too damn big, unfortunately. You can try to bend the arm a little bit to help you out, but you just can't do it. Luckily for the gun, it has a lot of support pieces on the side and the bottom, so it can hold it up pretty decently. And then finally, the Gushion has its main trick up its sleeve, which are two sub-arms in its backpack, stolen off of Graze. And these things are actually almost as posable as the normal arms. You could bend them and everything. And they work pretty well. Say you have an additional weapon from a 1100 IBO kit that you're not using, these things can hold them just as well. But don't expect them to hold them for too long or they might drop. Building the Gundam Gushion Rebake is a mixed bag for me. Going into this build, I told you that I felt there were some reservations to have because of the price and also the fact that you get two kits in one, but it wasn't executed correctly. You get one Gundam frame and you can switch, but it just comes off impractical and you're left with a lot of parts that you're not using. With this Gushion Rebake, I'm not impressed. It has an interesting gimmick with the backpack, and the build was somewhat unique from the Season 1 kits that you build the chest differently, but otherwise, it just didn't blow me away. Retail price-wise, I would not buy this. It's a good-looking kit, and I'm happy that I have it because I get to complete my Season 1 collection, but it just didn't have it for me. It's not completely worth it, let alone all of the poor sticker choices. I mean, come on! Some of these things are actually molded in the correct color in the kit. They come in and just add one or two more pieces just to add on top of them. They have them come stickers? Really? You know, I'm happy I have the rebake for the sake of completion, but for build and 
for something that I want, it doesn't do it for me. So with that, the Gundam Gushion for me gets a 5 out of 10. You really only need to get this if you want all of the kits from Season 1. And even then, you still have to pick between Gushion and Gushion Rebake. It's the same build as all the other kits, and it's not bad because the Gundam frame is a really good looking frame and it opens up a lot of possibilities for colors and for paints, but it just doesn't do it. It doesn't cut the mustard. If you're a completionist or you want to do a custom job or even if you have a spare Gundam frame and want to modify it so you can have both the Gushan and the Gushan Rebake, I say go for it. Otherwise, don't go for this kit unless you really want it and you have disposable cash on you. Otherwise, this is 101R Smith, and I'll see you later. Peace!